Hey there, it's Bob Joyner, and coming back on Sunday afternoon. This is April the 23rd, taking a look at the uh, Forex market for next week. And I'm going to be focusing on this video, in this video, on the British pound uh, for the week coming up. Okay, before we jump into the uh, British pound and looking at the bears and bulls trends uh, on our heat map, I also want to start out with the Euro Aussie. I mentioned this pair in last Sunday's video. And of course we came right inside this little box here and found good support and turned right around before we dipped through that Kumo. I mentioned that there was a slim chance uh, that we might fall through that uh, Kumo there since the support was so thin, but we uh, found good solid support there, turned right around. As you can see, the charts, by the way, that you're looking at are daily chart on the far left, and this is a four hour chart. Uh, on the far right. These are Hakanashi candles on the far left on the daily chart and regular candlesticks on the right panel. So we came right inside the box and flipped around there. You'll also see that I'm using uh, Ichimoku, some of the indicators with Ichimoku uh, for this analysis as well. So that's the Euro Aussie and still qualified as a long in my view. Uh, one of the ways that we can look at that um, is look at this lowest low down in here right before you know when we found support and flipped back around and if we use the Fibonacci lines you can see we're 38 percent Fib line right in here right in the area of this white line is becoming support so far so would not want to see it drop below the 50 percent Fib line back down here uh, which is 141.60 I'm going to go ahead and look at all of the uh, British pound pairs uh, just real briefly and I've already drawn Fib lines on all these uh, if you're if you have liked and followed me on Facebook, then you know that I posted something on the British pound versus the New Zealand dollar um, last week, and I mentioned uh, that it was going to find support right in here, and uh, draw a circle right where that was, and that it found support right on that line, which uh, coincidentally, as I drew on that chart, was the 38% fib line. So it came right down to that 38% fib line and popped right back up to the highs. So that was a nice uh, quick bounce. Uh, as you can see, uh, nice nice gain there. British pound versus the Aussie dollar. Let's go through the pairs here real briefly. Uh, it's still qualified as a long in my view. All these are qualified as longs actually. Um, we've come back down to the 23% fib line and looking like we might find support in this area. British pound versus the Canadian dollar is very bullish, probably one of the most bullish uh, pair combinations uh, in the market right now. British pound versus the Swiss franc. We've come down to the 38% fib line, which is right in the area of this white line. As you can see, we found multiple lines of support in here, and I would expect that to continue higher. British pound versus the yen. Um, did not draw any fib lines here. We've come down to about the 23% fib line. We still have this area. Remember a couple of weeks ago when I did one of these videos, I mentioned this red box of overhead resistance. So we're back into testing that area now so we can bring that box back over. Uh, so we'll see what happens on that one. British pound, New Zealand dollar, obviously very bullish. We've come down and tested, as I just mentioned, the 38% fib line and found support there. And then the British pound versus the US dollar, we also came down to the 38% fib line here, tested that, and so far we're moving back up as well. So I'm looking for the British pound to move, uh, continue to move up against all pairs. Uh, this week we'll see if i'm right or not uh, but based on the current analysis the fib lines and the uh, ichimoku charts that's what i see happening so far the only one that i mentioned that's a little bit uh, uncertain to me is the british pound versus the japanese yen so we'll see how that works out i'm going to go ahead and flip over to the uh, charts that i show which show the trends now if you haven't been following me this is probably pretty confusing. It's probably pretty confusing if you have been following me. <laughs> but what these all these check marks say are the, the general trends. Now on the far left, what we have is we have weekly, uh, daily four hour trends. Uh, so for example, you can see on the British pound Aussie, you can see all these are very bullish uh, context here, except for the British pound Japanese yen. And that one's a little bit mixed as you can see. Uh, the middle panel over here and of course you can always stop the video if you want to drill down into any of these pairs and enlarge the chart or whatever to enlarge the video so that you can see this more clearly um, here in the middle we have the Euro Aussie being possibly oversold right now just slightly 
You can also see the British pound Aussie possibly oversold right now according to this analysis and the British pound versus the New Zealand dollar slightly oversold right now. Uh, these are the shorter term trends over here. For example, uh, 15 minute, 30 minute, two hours, that sort of stuff. In here in the middle are three day ch uh, trends with four hour charts showing overbought, oversold analysis. Uh, just to kind of show you what you're looking at. So I hope you're trading uh, went well this past week. Again, I do these videos about every Sunday. And if you want more information, then you can go to uh, my website, which is startdaytrading.com. And you can put a forward slash there and then put Forex Trade Alerts and you'll be able to see the videos I've uh, presented for the last couple of weeks. Um, and you can also visit the site, of course. Primarily what I do is I lead a day trading chat room for stocks, uh, but also like to swing trade uh, the currency market and uh, to find nice gains there as well. Hope your trading goes going well this next week and I'll talk to you next time.